Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with the Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, we'll start with the satellite picture across North America. And again, we've got a series of disturbances making their way from the North Pacific, kind of through the uh, Pacific Northwest and the Canadian Prairie on into the midsection of the United States. As we look at the radar, we've got a little bit of light snow falling between Grand Prairie and uh, kind of the Peace River area. And we've also got some light snow moving out of Winnipeg this morning. In between that, we're relatively quiet, though, as we get our Friday started. Another little push of cold air. Again, we've had a lot of cold air starting to pool up in this area. For the most part, it's been staying put. But as we get these little disturbances swinging through, some of those are bringing some of that cold air a little bit further south into the prairie. So Saskatoon, minus 22 this morning. Regina, minus 18. Minus 2 in Winnipeg. Minus 2 over in the uh, the, the um, Calgary area as well here on this Friday morning. So a big spread across some of the regions here as some of this colder air, a little lobe of that rotates across the region. Now with mild weather over the last several days and relatively quiet weather, we've seen a lot of the snow uh, beginning to erode. So we put a lot of snow down in November uh, as we came into a very snowy early, or I guess a very snowy late fall and early winter. Uh, again, much of that starting to finally melt across this region. So uh, we'll have to talk about you know when we're going to replace some of that. And it looks like that could happen as we get into the middle of next week. Now, temperatures, again, over the last 30 days have been relatively mild as we look at the temperature anomalies uh, over the last 30 days. So going back to mid-November and again, from the Midwest all the way up into the Canadian Prairie, this region has really been uh, on the mild side, at least relative to normal. As we look at current temperature anomalies, though, very different off to our north. We've got some cold air again continuing to pool just to the north. Now, parts of the prairie still experiencing mild conditions. Again, Winnipeg minus 2, Calgary minus 2. That's a little bit warm for Friday morning, uh, December 18th. But as we head into next week, you know, much of the cold air is going to be uh, kept at bay for the next three to four days until we get a trough that's going to swing some of this down quickly across the prairie into the midwest and quickly that is good news that means we get a couple of very cold days before we start to rebound on the back side of this look at the warmth returns quickly on the back side so here's the upper level pattern that is driving all of this again very active very uh, uh um not so dynamic but kind of riddled with these short waves so we've got this trough spinning around up to the north these little uh waves embedded within that that's what helps drag little shots of cold air down into portions of the prairie but you know, so that's the theme you know as we head through the next four to five days these little waves bring a little shot of cold air but then we get into early to mid next week and then here's the big one that comes swinging down now we don't have the cold air contained up here now we're gonna drag it all the way down here so Big splash of cold air. We finally take that anomalously cold air mass out of northern Canada to drag it across the prairies and into the Midwest and the Great Lakes in the United States. Ridging on the back side, that's going to quickly replace that warmth, at least across the West, as we head into the late part of next week. So with the active storm track, uh, the, the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, and portions of the Prairie Provinces are going to be the most active across North America as we head through the next seven days. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get buried across the Ag Belt, but it does mean we have the opportunity for some snow as we head through the next seven days. So here's a look at the precipitation forecast from the European Operational Model. Again, that very light snow possible in the Peace River region as we head through the day today. Perhaps a little heavier in intensity across Peace River, Grand Prairie, uh, maybe a bit north of Edmonton, but some heavier snow possible north of Highway 16 as we head through the overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Some light snow flurries possible Saturday night into Sunday morning in the Winnipeg area, but would not count on much. Uh, better chance for some snow across the Prairie Provinces, across the Ag Belt as we get into Sunday and Sunday night. Uh, and that's going to be the best chance across portions of southeastern Saskatchewan into southern Manitoba. So the Brandon area, Winnipeg, uh, maybe Regina picking up a little bit of snow on Sunday night into Monday morning. The big system, the one that brings the cold air in and the best chance for some accumulating snow across the Ag Belt along and south of Highway 16. This one comes in Monday night into Tuesday. So we'll have to talk about this on, on Monday morning as we do our next little look at the, uh, the Canadian Prairie because uh, that one... 
I could bring more in the way of accumulating snow, more like 10 to 20 centimeters. As we look at the current forecast, just verbatim from the European operational model, there you see it drop in that corridor of 10 to 20 centimeters of snow as we get into early next week. So uh, this has been pretty steady in the European operational model. Again, with its location, still the opportunity to wiggle back north and south a little bit over the next five days or so. But uh, it does look like in that Monday, Tuesday time frame, it looks like we'll kind of uh, maybe drop a quarter of snow across southern portions of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. Uh, but still low confidence. We're talking about uh, looking at the probability of three inches or more, seven and a half centimeters between now and Wednesday night. Highest probabilities off to the east. Again, this is where we get uh, you know additional chances for some snow uh, before that one as we head through the weekend, the chance for at least a light coating to a couple of centimeters of snow. Here's your temperature forecast. Again, you see the big dive here, at least briefly, as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Same thing here in uh, Medicine Hat. And we've got Saskatoon. Here's your trend downward. Uh, Regina, same thing. And then same thing in Winnipeg. Of course, you're not going to escape it there. Look at minus, minus 19 for the high on Wednesday, minus 16 on Thursday. No thank you. Back up to minus 10 to minus 9 as we head into the end of next week and the weekend. Uh, if you missed it, I did make an announcement on Wednesday morning's video. I'll real quickly hit on that here at the end. We're going to change how we deliver our regional content to you here at Nutrient Ag Solutions. I've been producing Monday, Wednesday, Friday regional forecast updates for the Canadian Prairie. On Tuesday and Friday, I've been doing all four U.S. regions. So on a day like today, Friday, I'm producing five regional forecast updates. We're going to remove those. We're going to do one update for Canada, likely on Monday mornings. That's going to cover the next five days. I'll be able to set the table for the coming work week and any high impact weather systems we have making their way in. I'll also be able to kind of uh, elaborate on the weeks two and three pattern. So where things are headed across the Ag Belt, uh, across the Canadian Prairie Provinces, uh, so redundant. I wish I could stop saying the Canadian Prairie Provinces, um, <laughs> but I can elaborate on the weather systems there and then talk about the weeks two and three pattern uh, much better than I can now when I'm pr using so much mental bandwidth uh, producing all of these 10 to 12 minute regional content or regional forecast videos. So uh, there will be the Monday video, but then also we're going to change this uh, Canadian Prairie regional forecast page on the Nutrient Ag Solutions and Agrable customer and employee portals. When you click on it, uh, you'll see your Monday video, but you're also going to see daily updates, frequent updates from me on the highest impact weather events across the prairie. Uh, so again, I won't have to wait for Tuesday and Friday to put out that, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday to put out the, the longer video. So give me your feedback at my email there as the dog barks in the background. Let me know what it is you want to make sure I'm talking about in those Monday videos and then what you would like to see covered uh, in the Nowcast page here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as I push out those urgent updates. Have a great day and wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you again on Monday morning.